Hi there, it's Kenny Love. Listen, are you a perfume lover like I am? Perfumes, colognes, I love them all. But they're so expensive. And so what I found was to get a bottle of my favorite scent, Addict by Christian Dior, is $120 in the store. So I decided to do some hard work, research, and some chemistry lab work myself and have come up with my own concoction of my version of their scent along with a couple of other scents that I love like Aqua de Gio um, and some others. Now, I'm not making a profit off of this. I am not in any way affiliated with the companies. These are my impressions only. But what's amazing is when testing them out, it turns out that by all the research I did, the hard mixture of the chemical and the whole process, the way I do it, for some reason, turns out the smell is stronger than the name brand and lasts all day. I've tested it with friends now and they agree. I sprayed real addict on my right arm and I sprayed my addict that I made in a four ounce bottle on my left arm and they smelled identical and the left arm was stronger and it lasted all day and did not need to be reapplied. Now that says something. This is not the kind of perfume that you buy at the dollar store where it's a dollar a bottle and it smells nice for a second. No, they make those so cheaply, mass make them. They're 99% alcohol to give you a strong scent and 1% smell. And so the smell only lasts and you have to reapply and reapply. Plus it's eau de toilette, which we all know the biggest uh, percentage of scent for a perfume is, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Adu Parfume. And so I decided to create my own Adu Parfume, not Toilette, because it depends on the ratio of the different chemicals you add. If you add more scent, then you get Adu Parfume. And so it's very technical and it's kind of private because it's my own secret recipe, but I make my own. Now, another thing, the largest size bottles you can buy of name brand perfumes are 3.4 ounces or 100 ml. Now, that's pretty big, but I have made my own version and it's a full four ounce bottle. Now, $120 for the name brand bottle that I have to keep reapplying or make my own that lasts even longer, is even stronger, lasts all day, and is even more than, it's a full four ounces. Well, it seems like no rocket science to me. I'm gonna keep making my own perfumes. I've even made a signature scent um, mixing different nodes and flavors and scents together, and I call it fornication, thanks to my friend Marlon. It's also going to contain something rare in perfumes, human sex pheromones. So it helps be attractive and open and, and such, so they say. Now, I've tried those out, and they actually work and get good reviews. So my Christian Dior addict impression of it, my impression of it that I make is Eau du Parfume, not Toilette. It's very strong. It lasts all day, rarely needs to be reapplied. And optionally, I can add pheromones if I want to or don't want to. And I can do that with any of the scents including my signature scent called 
fornication. Here we have fornication. And it's not perfected yet, but it's getting there. Now, another good interesting point is that with perfumes, I can get bigger bottles. So, in a department store, if you want to get, say, Addict, again, I'll use as an example, the biggest bottle is 3.4 ounces for $120, right? I can make not only the 4-ounce bottle, but I could make a 12-ounce or a 20-ounce bottle, and it was it'll be the same strength, it'll still be just as wonderful, and it will last so much longer. And I can make it at a fraction of what you would pay for a name brand. Now, name brand addict to get 20 ounces would be over $600 because you'd have to buy multiple 3.4 ounce bottles. I could make one 20 ounce bottle. I'm not going to tell you how much it costs. I don't sell them. But what would you pay? I want your input for a bottle of very good quality, independently made, impression of, your favorite scent, in a 20 ounce or 12 ounce bottle that they don't even sell commercially. So you'd only have to buy it once in a great while. And you could optionally, it's not a rule, but add pheromones if you want or not. What is your ideas on that? Also, when mixing the perfumes, you mix with one of the ingredients that I can tell you, a very important ingredient, is perfumer's alcohol. It's very different than alcohol. It's not rubbing alcohol. It's not booze. It's a special alcohol, and it's called a carrier. It carries the scent. It makes the scent waft, and it makes people notice you, and it evaporates, and then the oils soak into your skin, the perfume oils. So the way I make it, at the strength I make it at, means it lasts longer than regular Eau du Parfum, even, which is almost unheard of, but easy to do if you're a chemist, like I'm doing, and making it yourself. And the end product, I have to say, has been astounding. Um, the replies and responses I'm getting are out of this world. People have not been able to tell the difference. People have been telling me they prefer mine over name brand because of the quality put into it and the long lastingness, the authenticity, and the value. Here, take a look at this. I'm letting these bottles that I made sit on the shelf because the longer that the scent mixes with the perfumer's alcohol, the stronger the scent is. So, before I give them away as presents or whatnot, or you want a bottle for yourself, let me know. I can do that for you. I will make it, but it needs to sit for a while. I can't just mix it up, shake it up, and give it to you. I can. It'll smell nice. But to get the real effect, you want to let it sit for at least a month. At least a month, if not longer to soak in all together with the perfumer's alcohol, the nodes, the oils, the fragrances, and that's how it really pops. And the end result is astonishing, like I said. I have sprayed, and I only sprayed once, and it has lasted all day, and it smells wonderful. You can also make, I can also make, room sprays, which can freshen your linens, your furniture, um, your towels, your pillows, and um, in scents, you know, that resemble fresh linen. Or sometimes even people like the smell of gain, you know, my impression of that. Anything like that. I can mix that too, and I've been experimenting. And it works wonders. I spray the 
um, furniture and it refreshes the things. The pillows smell nice. Everything smells fresh and clean. Now, I make little one ounce bottles as well. And if you would like to try my versions of scents in a one ounce bottle, let me know. Get a hold of me. Kenny at KennyLove.org and I will gladly get it to you somehow and you can tell me for yourself if you agree with me. So these are ideas pondering. I think I'm going to really keep going into designing chemically in the lab here, mixing, creating my own impressions of famous scents, but also my own signature scents. Like I said, so far it's only one, fornication, and it smells heavenly, let me tell you. Um, I like to say it smells like liquid sex, which brought on my friend saying, let's name it fornication, and I think it's catchy. I'm sorry if it offends anyone. Anyway. Um... So, I just wanted to put the word out there. Right now, I'm going to spray myself with my version of Addict. I smell fresh, clean, and I think this is a very fun and useful endeavor. So, let me know what you think in comments. Or like I said, email me at Kenny at KennyLove.org. Um, or you could also visit the website at www.KennyLove.org. So let's have some fun with perfume. Have a great day.